What's up everybody, my name is Marvin, better known as Ven from the TTV channel, which is a YouTube channel hosted by a team of young creative talent. We've worked on this channel for several years and while a lot has changed, I am happy to say that we have maintained the same passion for building, collecting, and playing with LEGO that we had all those years ago. And we are more than excited to be able to bring all these qualities with us to the LEGO Live event in New York. There we'll be able to show you some of the cool creations we made out of LEGO Boost. So until then, I thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Hey guys, Jonathan Juan here from the TTV channel of some breaking LEGO news. Now, if you're like me, you are highly anticipating this year's Avengers Infinity War movie and the LEGO sets that come with it. We just got some high resolution images of these sets. I'm going to go through them one by one real quick so you know what you have to expect from the Infinity War sets upcoming this year. The first set we're going to talk about is the Outrider Dropship Attack. It is selling for $15 USD. It comes with Captain America, Black Widow, and two of the Outriders, who I don't really know too much about, but I am assuming are the cannon fodder we see in the actual trailer. And I will be referring to them as cannon fodder from this point out, because there's a couple of them in some of these sets. It also comes with the Space Stone, uh, which you will see actually fits upon the LEGO version of the Infinity Gauntlet. Next up is Thor's Weapon Quest, which is selling for $19.99, 20 US dollars. It comes with Thor, Rocket Raccoon, and Teenage Groot. Uh, Thor has a new hammer. A lot of people are theorizing that the handle of the hammer is actually Groot's. Next up is the Hulkbuster Smash Up. It's selling for $30. It comes with, surprise, the Hulkbuster, as well as Proxima Midnight, the Falcon, Bruce Banner, and one of the Cannon Fodders. Now, you might be surprised to learn that Bruce Banner is included in this set instead of Tony Stark riding the Hulkbuster. It does seem to be an updated version of the Hulkbuster we got in the Age of Ultron wave, and it comes with the Soul Gem, which is the first time we've actually seen the Soul Stone, Stole Gem, whatever, Gemstone, you know, they freaking mess things up from the comics, whatever. Next up is Corvus Glaive's Thresher Attack. Um, we see Corvus Glaive go up and try to get the Mind Stone from Vision who is being defended by Shuri and Black Panther. Uh, Corvus Glaive does have one of the cannon fodders on his side, and they are trying, of course, to get the Mind Stone, which is in Vision's forehead, and also included in this set. From then, we have Thanos' Ultimate Battle, which is selling for $70. Uh, you get Thanos, the Milano, Iron Man, Gamora, and Star-Lord, as well as the actual Infinity Gauntlet. It can fit all of these stones that you can get in the rest of these sets. It comes with the Power Gem, and seems to have a lot of cool minifigures here, especially the biggest one is Iron Man, who seems to have a new suit with a ton of jets coming from the side, as well as a cool new sword for Thanos. I don't believe we've gotten a weapon like that beforehand. Last, but definitely not least, is the Santum Centaurium Showdown. It is selling for $100. It has Iron Man, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Ebony Maw, and Cull Obsidian. It actually is kind of neat. It kind of looks like a bit like a modular building on a much smaller scale. The set can fold all the way out and actually fold in on itself to kind of have a solid building. Um, you also see both the new minifigures included here, um, Ebony Maw and Cull Obsidian, as well as the first appearance of the Iron Spider Suit and the arms that come with the Iron Spider Suit, which I'm really excited to see Spider-Man get. And of course, these two servants of Thanos are trying to retrieve the Time Stone, which Doctor Strange has. It is actually his Eye of Agamotto. Now that is all the Avengers sets we have for now, but we will make sure to keep you guys informed. Stay tuned to the TTV channel to see more stuff we have on Infinity War and any other LEGO sets that will be coming out in the upcoming months. We'll see you later. Goodbye.